in the name of God, the merciful, the compassionate, members of Women for Afghan Women, supporters of Women for Afghan Women, beneficiaries of uh, Women for Afghan Women, my dear friend Manija Naderi, I come to you in peace. Assalamu alaikum. There are many good things that one can say about Manija Jean. She has a good heart, a good sense of humor. She is smart, dedicated, and relentless. She cares for all the people around her and attends to their needs. She has vision. She is courageous and cannot be intimidated. And I could go on and on. I am sure you all agree with me. But the thing that I admire most about her is that she is a builder of institutions. In Arabic, my mother tongue, Ammar Tabut was the highest compliment one could bestow upon a woman. Look around you. Look at this wonderful organization, Women for Afghan Women, that she has built one step at a time, starting in April 2001, with a few volunteers and a big heart. 17 years later, this organization is thriving with over 750 staff members, operating in 14 provinces of Afghanistan and in the United States, running legal aid centers, emergency and long-term shelters, and providing life-changing services in education and advocacy for women and children. Well done, Manija. A lot of people talk big talk and entertain whoever wants to hear them with far-fetched proposals that are supposed to bring about miracles. Very few have the wherewithal, the persistence, and the energy day after day to build an institution despite all the obstacles and the inevitable disappointments. Very few have the generosity to train other people and to delegate responsibilities. And even fewer can reach the point to say, my work here is done. I give it all to you. I know you can do it. I'm convinced you will carry on successfully. Manija Jean, there is no better definition of success than the work you have achieved. You have changed the lives of thousands of women and children. You have ensured, thanks to the organization you have built, that thousands more will be helped even after your departure. I had been witness to your efficiency years back when you and your colleagues were able to help out a young woman from Kandahar who desperately needed guidance and assistance. You gave her back hope. You gave her back a life. For those members of the board that visited me a year ago or two, I am referring to the bird of paradise. But I also saw the charisma in you when last October, we both were part of a group attending a congressional briefing on the Hill in Washington, DC. I was so proud sitting next to you, watching you handling the inquiries of senators and congressmen with ease and answering their concerns with firm conviction. Salima Blantkadi. So, although you are set stepping down from your leadership post at Women for Afghan Women, I know that you'll still have it in you to achieve great things. And I can't wait to see what that will be. May God protect you. May God protect all the members of Women for Afghan Women. Thank you.